African wildlife. Game viewing is a must to visitors to tropical Africa. Until the 1960s, many game animals could be found even outside the parks. Unfortunately, with independence after 1960, the new governments lost control in many countries and practically all the game were shut down by various military units and guerrillas in and out of the parks. As the sign shows, the visitor to the park may proceed on designated trails, but the vast majority are accommodated in Gaudi Volkswagen buses or the more expensive Land Rovers, commonly with European guide. The mother baboon is harmless but dangerous if she feels that her baby is threatened. Elephants are by far the most favored animals by tourists. They commonly get around in herds, the group controlled by the oldest female. As soon born, baby elephants can walk and gain weight rapidly, protected well by the herd. They have no natural enemies. The herd is always on the move to find proper food. A fully grown elephant may eat up to 300 pounds of vegetation a day, but can get along without eating for two to four days if necessary. Grass is the main item consumed, even when it is tough, but tasty branches are also eaten in large quantities. The view here shows a game park in Uganda where the elephants caused near complete deforestation. In order to get the green branches, they will break down the trees. Elephants tolerate other game animals, but those generally keep respectable distance away. African elephants, unlike those in India, cannot be tamed. A highly favored pastime for elephants is to get into large mud holes. The muck will cool them down and will also coat their hides as an added protection against a variety of stinging insects. After the mud bath, elephants may look very gray or even reddish due to the type of mud coating. In 1972, Outside a game park in Zambia, I decided to test the disposition of a solitary grown bull elephant, generally very intolerant of uninvited company. My friend photographed the attempt, warning that the bull was ready to charge, as indicated by the flared ears and roll-up trunk, also emitting some screams, so I left fast enough for safety. Another bull elephant in Zambia proved to be more friendly, though the flared ears again advise caution. Actually, large elephants are not afraid of people who are certainly small compared to them. They consider people more of a nuisance and perhaps even ill-smelling, so try to keep away at a distance. Elephants, like people, also die of old age, generally between 30 to 50 years. Those in good grazing areas and undisturbed live considerably longer. Unfavorable conditions during migrations, a yearly occurrence of to distances up to 30 miles or so, will reduce their life expectancy. Same way also persistent human interference with an otherwise peaceful life. In time, even the large bones and tough hide is recycled by wild animals and natural forces. Of all game animals, buffaloes are by far the most dangerous, and especially the old bulls may charge without provocation. In the tall grass savanna, with the grass up to 14 feet high or so, a bull may be lying next to the trail unseen by the human intruder. Fortunately, the distribution of buffalo is rather limited 
and commonly known to the natives. The rhino is a low-key, dull, and rather lazy animal, and overall there are very few left in and outside the parks. The horns used to be poached and sold to the Chinese as aphrodisiacs, fetching very high price. Unlike elephants, they are protected and prohibited from being shot by idiotic foreigners wanting to hand a trophy fed on the wall like in old times. Giraffes are certainly tall and rather ungainly, but well protected against predator attacks by speed and also vicious kicks. Due to the partial deforestation of the game habitat by elephants, giraffes who prefer to graze on the branches are restricted to the more forested parts of the savanna woodlands. Smaller antelopes may present occasion for cute pictures while they are the main food supply for the lions, leopards and the cheetahs, the fastest four-legged animal on earth. They are still found in large herds in the game parks, migrating to grassy plains following the seasonal rains. The warthog is a rather ugly animal, keeping mainly to itself. The hippos, shown here at rest in the Nile in Uganda, appear like slow-moving small island blocks, spending most of their time submerged and leaving the river for grazing during the night. That time they also emit large, hoarse grunts, perhaps to indicate their presence. Natives using dugout canoes are always in danger when crossing any water inhabited by hippos. Several hundred people a year are killed in tropical Africa. At close range, an enraged hippo appears to be rather formidable, but its main effort is to get into deeper water, where it will be well protected against any intruder. Hippo meat is very fatty, but being a large animal, preferred by the natives, forever hungry for meat. Crocodiles occur mainly in the major rivers and lake shores. A large one may be up to 20 feet or more long and safe from attack from any other animal. Western demand for crocodile skins for a variety of items is decimating their numbers. Especially the young are hunted, the old ones with scarred, weather-beaten skins are not attractive for the trade. Along the Nile and some other major rivers, certain species of birds develop the ingenious technique of building hanging nests over water on branches of a tree. However, that does not lead to a major increase in numbers. Each species lives in its particular niche and this one is limited to the available trees protected by the crocodiles and hippos. In the game parks a shocking sight is presented by the presumably wild animals congregating around the excavation where the garbage from the visitor's lodge is burned. Until well into the 20th century, wild animals including the baboons and the marabou storks were accommodated by nature. Rapidly increasing commercialization of the game park is reducing their livelihood to scavenging, a greatly disappointing sight that will persist in the times ahead.